Hey guys, welcome to African Empire, where we create content that is affordable, quick and easy, and will definitely give you the clothes that you're looking for, the clothes that you deserve, the clothes that I know for real, for real, that is yours. Okay, so here we get our glow, guys. If you don't know already, subscribe, you will find more about the EE channel here. So anyways, today guys, I wanted us to talk about... Um, a video that relates to the one that I did based on emotional abuse and on this one I will be talking to you guys how cute is my style today I just said go African or go home cute so <laughs> anyways so on this one I will be talking to you guys about a relating concept to emotional so i'm healing i'm an emotional on this one all right you can call me your healer baby anytime any day baby so on this one i will be healing your internal glow internal and then you will be getting your glow rather let me just put it that way you can get your healer internally and then you'll get your glow we're so moving so glow white let me say we are coming anyway so I want us to talk about a concept that is relating to the one I did based on emotional abuse and this one is going to be detailing on the solution. So we're talking about a solution that you can apply. I'm not saying it would work for all of you guys. I'm not saying it will work for everyone because you need to learn, you need to take time and process this. So what I'm saying is if you're determined to improving yourself and getting the best version of yourself and making on your internal self, because I can definitely Jemoguti, you're ripping your fruits, the fruits of your labor, and you've healed and you've worked on yourself. So that's the concept we are running on. So we are hitting the ground running in Kesanas. I'm not giving a lot of details, I'm just hitting on top. So if you're interested on those kind of concepts, subscribe, give this video a like, make sure I get my glow also in my channel growth. Okay, right. With that being said, let's get to it. So today guys I decided I'm going to give you guys my <laughs> Damn. you know when when things happen sometimes in life you don't know what one day they will help when you have to tell other people about the stories but in an educational way because I mean imagine I'm not bringing to you guys with scenarios because I don't want you guys crying telling you guys what happened da, 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 da. no I'm just heating on top like I wish someone would teach me like that because I don't think I would have like but it worked for my good oh see I am the way I am and I do things the way I do them because apparently i have survived a lot of emotional abuse myself so when i was talking about that it was a lot of reflection also to self right so now that we are moving on to talking about the solution i want you guys to pay strictly pay attention because chances are i don't know if i'm going to be doing any more of these kind of videos but i'm hoping but i will give you guys the gist go but i want you guys when december comes i want you guys to look at yourselves and say got it <laughs> i want you guys to be like got it thank you being kisses to you of course honey of course i would do this over and over again if it was meant to make someone feel better do better or be better trust me so guys let's start it okay so if you are watching this and you haven't checked my emotional abuse video please do go and check it out so that you will be able to link them up and learn something from there as well because chances are i'm not going to repeat what i said there so we are moving to phase two okay sharp okay speaking to a person that is interested in knowing more about themselves and how to maneuver through life especially to protect their inner selves and outer selves and get it low okay let's talk so guys get with me i've learned a lot of things based on seeing how valuable they will add 
how valuable they'll be rather in my life so, right so a lot of things that i've shared with you guys so far because i've been doing a good job with sharing like i'm not a person that likes to share a lot so this for me is like okay girl I'm, I'm proud of you because i did also say tell say to myself i'm man you know what there might be someone that need this and at least I, with what i know whether it's right or wrong whether it works or doesn't at least let me share yeah, okay cool the, the emotional uh, uh, uh abuse guys is not something we should take lightly and it's something that we don't have to be shy of because it happens and the only thing to survive these things is by, is by knowing what you like what you need to do about it and sometimes you don't have to do things with a lot of anger and pain and sometimes you just need to deal with solutions situations in the very smartest way which is solutions and Pella, we all human beings at the end of the day so sometimes you will bottle things up and then sometimes they look past there is an ink grenade it's it's normal. Called the magic, we're speaking to someone who's already aware of what they're facing and they want a solution to it. I'm sure you guys might know this, but I'm just sharing for more enlightenment. So I am going to be talking to you guys about emotional intelligence. Some people might wonder what that is. So with me, I'm going to explain it from my perspective because I've seen it work, especially most of the time in my line of work because i had to work with a lot of male people male figures and it worked for me in so many instances so i can say for me i'm giving you guys my bulletproof vest i'm giving it to you guys because this these are the things that are essential to me and have gotten me where i am right okay anyways let's move so basically what do i mean to someone that might want to know in detail if you want to know the dictionary uh definition of it please do check it out but i'm gonna explain it quickly and easy of how i have made it my thing to just look at things and see if do i even need to yeah so with my emotional intelligence technique Obviously, I'm not going to give the full ball right now because I'm feeling like it's a lot. I can talk the whole day, but I'm going to highlight the most important aspect, like the full ball, but not in so many details, right? Okay, cool. So how I want to put it is this. So with me, the way I've used it, even with everything, like literally everything, like there is so much disrespect in this world. Sometimes you need to be very intelligent to maneuver through some things and see if do does your energy even need to be invested in that so with me i have used it in a in a in a phase in a phase of evaluation so let's say for instance someone out use occupation because that's the closest one to me let's say someone at work is looking down on me undermining me or underestimating me and feeling like nah this one what does she know I am going to show her who I am because I've been doing this for so many years and she doesn't know anything. So this is my technique to, technique to that because it can lead to abuse because people want to would want to exploit you and show you that I uh, see. Especially with a face like this, honey, I have the most beautiful, cute, angelic face that is young and it looks like I'm just 12. Sometimes I struggle with even how much does and confusing me at their age group. <laughs> So with that, like there is a little bit of that um, intelligence that needs to be applied. So you'd find Gutimina, um, a lot of things that used to trigger me in the past no longer trigger me now because of this, right? So this is how I do it, guys. Okay. So how I do it is, um, we're talking about a person, I made an example of occupation. See this person that undermines you, da, 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 da. I can use it, I can use friendship as well, so it doesn't only apply to occupation, but I'm just 
excuse me i'm just basing it in what i think would make sense what everyone would relate to okay let's also use friendship okay but this friend that looks down on you and thinks ah oh, you're nothing they are beyond you or they're better than you okay shut up. so how you apply emotional intelligence to those is that you look at things you see mina this is how i look at it you look at the value you could see okay is this behavior something i would like to consume from no is this the type of energy i would like on an everyday basis like for instance if i were to pick now and say oh can't wait to go to the negative energies is that how i would want it and then i'll look at it and say no and then i'll value it in a way of what's in this and figure like it's in other percentage is one or three so chances are this doesn't need my my attention so how do i move my attention from this to something valuable that is going to make me even happy or even pay my bills and then that's where you'd be like okay man value value yeah learn to of the thing this person is doing and checking off my standards and beliefs and, and abilities and what i want to attract in life and it doesn't correspond chances are i need to avoid it as much as i can so with work how i used to do it is guys uh, let's be honest some people to be honest at work you'd find but you don't even need to engage with them unless there is a need so that's how i would do it i would be like okay do i really need to engage with this person i'd be nice no I mean, i'm a nice person in a, by nature unless you step on me and you see a nice side that we all don't wish to see but anyways we are on the mindset of intelligence see if this thing that is actually trying to give you this abuse i'm putting quotes on it because it can be anything if you value your corner, it's at a, a level of what you're attracting in your life. If not, then just rub it off. That's how I've survived. Mina, I would make sure, we'll see, first of all, I'll check the person that's disrespecting me, especially when it's disrespectful. I'll check and say, ah, oh, really? Because most of the time you'd find, we'll see, with me, the people that I look up to, usually most of the time, 100%, 100% they don't really do crazy things when it comes to energy vibes so it's those that always feel intimidated or want to be you or want to copy you or feel like you're not worthy of the things you're getting they are you know it's always those with agendas and then that's where you measure who's okay is this even necessary and then that's where you apply emotional intelligence you apply to understanding what it does this thing need my attention if no yes if i need to stop it here because there's people that you just need to tell them upfront hey this is not how you speak to me man i've never given you a reason for you to speak to me like this so please let's give each other mutual respect if you don't want rather leave me as is or give uh let's coexist in a way where if i have to talk to you because of something that is related to what we're doing let it be but if not let it not be because i mean the minute you remove yourself guys from yourselves from those energies that's when you start moving differently that's where you start flowing differently and i'm not saying cut them off i'm saying coexist with them understand what's okay there there's so much disrespect so i don't need to uh, to invest a lot of my energy there because it's going to be depleted and drained rather i explore it with betty oh betty likes me betty's always glowing when they see me that's where i'm going to invest my energy at so you choose where your energy and emotions are going to be expressed at and sometimes you do need to put boundaries because some people can just step it all over and they want you to just put that boundary and say look man i mean you know <laughs> you know we don't have to really you know mind yours let me and let's just live and with that guys we even with me there's so many things that i used to tolerate back in the days and i feel like now oh hell no because i know the amount of work that i have done i know the amount of dark place that i have to take myself out of and i'm not willing i'm sorry cut me off i'd rather lose the deal I'm not willing to go back to that place. So it's either you coming with some light or shine or glow, or you're not coming at all. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I hope this helped you. I know I came with a little bit of like 
you know but it's because i'm passionate about these things guys and i wish people can share it more because these are things we should be discussing and talking about i'm not saying go out there and cut people off but i'm saying invest your emotions where they need to it's like anything you'd invest in you or you are hoping for better results so why would you want to invest your your energy in someone that you know literally you literally you literally know they hate you but you're busy trying 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 to push push no there's other things you can do babe you can get a facial you can fix your nails you can apply some vaseline you can look better with that time rather than trying by all means to be investing your emotions where they're gonna be abused and misused apply that intelligence and be smart about it don't forget intelligence and smartness go hand in hand and yes i will drop nice things that will give you details about what i'm saying now but i hope you guys got the gist ne? with that being said thank you so much for watching i'll definitely see you guys on my next one Stay kind, be kind, spread positive energy. Don't listen to anyone that says bad, uh, good, bad things happen to good people. Not anymore. Things have shifted. The spirit is aligned. Everything is now aligned. People are getting exposed. But it's all happening for our good. With that being said, bye. I'm so passionate about this. I just spoke a whole hour, I think. Bye. Bye-bye.